Dear students, welcome to Gyanataranga NEET CET program organized by Department of Pre University Education, Government of Karnataka. I am Dr. Chode Godavayan, lecturer in biology. In this class, we are going to discuss about three chapters of your second year PUC biology that is evolution, human health and disease and microbes in human welfare. First let, let us start with evolution chapter. Now, what is evolution? For the gradual change in life forms over a millions of years which results in the development of complex forms of life from simple life forms. Before going to details of evolution of life forms, let us discuss origin of universe. To explain the origin of universe, Big Bang theory has been proposed. According to this theory, universe expanded from explosion of primordial hot substance. After the origin of universe, how the origin of earth occurred? Earth was supposed to have been formed about 4.5 billion years ago from a large spinning cloud of gas and dust. After the origin of earth, how the life began on the prebiotic earth. To explain the origin of life, several philosophers, thinkers proposed several theories. The important theories are theory of special creation, theory of panspermia, theory of biogenesis and theory of abiogenesis and theory of chemical evolution. According to theory of special creation, the supernatural power called God created the life on prebiotic earth. According to theory of panspermia, the thick resistant spores called cosmosova were transferred to earth from different planets which gave rise to life. According to Abiogenesis theory, the life began on the prebiotic earth spontaneously and continuously from non-living things. According to theory of biogenesis, life began on the prebiotic earth from the pre-existing life. At the same time, Louis Pasteur disproved Abiogenesis theory by conducting Swan naked flask experiment. <coughs> Next, coming to the theory of chemical evolution of life, it was proposed by A. I. Oparin and J. B. S. Aldine. According to them, life was originated from non living matter by a gradual process of chemical evolution on the primitive earth. To prove the chemical evolution of life, one experiment has been conducted by Yuri and Stanley Miller, that is Stanley Miller's experiment. The main intention of this experiment was to create similar conditions as primitive atmosphere in the laboratory. This is the experimental setup of Stanley Miller's. Uh, in which they took prebiotic earth gases in spark discharging chamber that is ammonia, methane, hydrogen and water vapours. 
they obtained amino acids from ammonia, methane and carbon dioxide, so inside the specialized apparatus. Coming to that uh, evidences of evolution of life forms, the important evidences or paleontological evidences, it is based on fossil records and showed that life forms varied over time and certain life forms are restricted to certain geo, uh, geological time. Compared to anatomical and morphological evidences, we have that homologous organs and analogous organs. You know that homologous organs, the organs with similar structure and origin, but they perform different functions. And homologous organs explains divergent evolution and it explains that common ancestry. Whereas analogous organs, the organs with different structure and origin, but perform a similar function. Analogous organs explains the convergent evolution. The example for homologous organs are four limbs of man, cheetah, wings of bat, etc. Similarly, among plants, the example for homologous organs are thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita, which are originated or which are the stem modifications. Example for analogous organs are eye of man and eye of octopus. Similarly, wing of the bird and wing of insect. Among plants, it is a, the carrot and also even ginger. Coming to the biochemical evidences, it explains that similarities in proteins and genes performing a given function among diverse organisms gives clues to common ancestor. Embryological evidences. Embryos of several vertebrates pass through common developmental stages such as zygote, marula, blastula. So, it indicating common ancestry. Coming to that adaptive radiations. Adaptive radiation is defined as evolution of different species in a given geographical area starting from a point and radiating to other areas of geography. The best example for adaptive radiations are Darwin and Finches of Galapagos Highland and marsupials of Australia. Darwin Finches were a, are the, a small black bird with the original uh, seed eating features. In the marsupials of Australia, a different varieties of marsupials were, were restricted to that particular continent. Biological evolution, major key concepts of the biological evolution, evolution includes key concept of Darwin and the Lamarck's theory. The major key concept of Darwin includes natural selection and branching descent. According to natural selection, organism with favorable, irritable variations get better survival to reproduce and leave greater number of progeny. Then the major key concept of Darwin includes evolution of life forms mainly due to use and disuse of organs 
and inheritance of acquired characters. Coming to the mechanism of evolution, to explain the mechanism of the evolution, Hugo Devery's proposed a mutation theory. According to Hugo Devery's, mutation causes evolution and minor variations. But according to Darwin, minor variations causes evolution. Mutations are random and directionless according to Hugo Devery's. But according to Darwin, variations are small, gradual and directional. According to Hugo Devery's, single step of large mutation that cause speciation, also called saltation. Coming to the Arde Weinberg principle, Arde Weinberg principle states that allele frequency in a population are stable and remain constant from generation to generation. It can be explained with their formula it is p square plus 2 p q plus q square equals 1. According to Wayne, Arde Weinberg principle, the factors affecting the may, uh, affecting or gene flow or gene migration, genetic drift, mutation, recombination and natural selection. When a set of population, they migrate to new areas, they contribute their the gene frequency to the other population and it leads to change in allelic frequency. The change in gene frequency by chance is called genetic drift. Then mutation, the sudden change in DNA molecule recombination it is due to the combining of the genes during the meiosis the natural selection that is mainly because of the influence of nature coming to the brief account of the evolution of different life forms about 3 billion years ago first non cellular form of life was evolved. 2000 million years ago, first cellular forms of life appeared. 500 million years ago, invertebrates were formed. 350 million years ago, jawless fish probably evolved. 320 million years ago, seaweeds and plants were exist. A fish coelacanth, it was caught in South Africa, was thought to be extinct. Uh, these animals called lobe fin fins evolved into the first amphibians. 200 million years ago, reptiles dominated on earth. Later on, the birds evolved from the reptiles and the mammals were evolved from the birds, first the shrew like mammals were the appeared. Coming to the origin and evolution of man, about 15 million years ago, primates called Diaptychus and Ramaptychus were existing. Diaptychus were more ape-like and Ramaptychus were more man-like. Two million years ago, Australopithecians probably lived in East African grassland. The first human-like being the hominid and was called Homo habilis. Its brain capacity were between 650 to 800 cc. 
Fossils discovered in Java in 1891 revealed the next stage Homo erectus about 1.5 million years ago. It had brain capacity around 900 cc. Neanderthal man, its brain size 1400 cc, lived in East and Central Asia between 1 lakh to 40,000 years back. Homo sapiens during ice age between 75,000 to 10,000 years ago, modern Homo sapiens arose. Later, prehistoric cave heart developed around 18,000 years ago. Agriculture came around 10,000 years back and human settlement started. Uh, students, next uh, coming to that uh, discussion of questions related to evolution chapter. The first question, theory of abiogenesis or spontaneous generation was experimentally disproved by options Louis Pasher, A. I. Oparin, Alfred Russell Wallis, Sidney Fox. I told while discussing synapsis part, Louis Pasher proposed biogenesis theory by conducting swan naked flask experiment. A. I. Oparin, he proposed chemical evolution of life forms. Alfred Russell Wallace also he worked along with the, uh, the Darwin also he came the same conclusion similar to the Darwin. Sidney Fox, he, dev, he produced microspheres to prove the chemical origin and evolution. Since that uh, Louis Pasteur conducted swan nectar class experiment to prove that biogenesis theory and at the same time he disproved a bionis theory experimentally is yes, the correct answer for this question is Louis Pasher. Question number 2, according to one of the most widely accepted theories, earth's atmosphere before origin of life cons consisted of a mixture of O3, CH4, O2 and water. Option 2, O2, NH3, CH4 and water. Option C, H2, CO2, NH3 and CH4. Option 4, CH4, NH3, H2 and water vapors. In Stanley Miller's experiment, Urey and Stanley Miller, they took the prebiotic earth gases such as ammonia, methane and hydrogen and water vapors in spark discharging chamber to obtain the amino acids and other organic compounds. Hence, the prebiotic earth gases were the option 4. Question number 3, match the scientist and their contribution in the field of evolution. Charles Darwin, actually he wrote, he wrote a book called The Origin of Species by Natural Selection. Lamarck, he wrote a book called Philosophy Zoologicu. In this book, he explained his ideas about the evolution. Hugo de Vries, he proposed 
mutation theory of organic evolution and Ernest Eckel he proposed biogenetic law and this law states that ontogeny recapitulates biology. Hence, the correct answer for so this question is it is option A. Question number 4 adaptive radiation refers to adaptations due to geological isolation, evolution of different species from a common ancestor inhabiting different geographical regions, migration of members of species to different geographical regions, power of adaptation in an individual to a variety of environment. According to adaptive radiation definition, we know that evolution of different species from a common ancestors inhabiting different geographical areas is called adaptive radiation and also I told the example for adaptive radiation is Darwin in finches and marsupials of Australia. Question number 5, Darwin's theory, origin of new species by natural selection does not include overproduction, natural selection, survival of the fittest, inheritance of acquired characters, struggle for existence. According to Darwinism, he explained about that overproduction, natural selection, survival of fittest and struggle for existence, but the inheritance of acquired character, it was so proposed or explained by uh, Lamarck, hence the correct answer for this question is inheritance of acquired characters. Question number 6, founder effect is related with gene migration, genetic drift, natural selection, mutation. Now, founder effect means the formation of new species from the earlier species by change in the gene frequency. The earlier species which gave rise to new species are called founder species and the effect is called founder effect. Yes, the founder effect is related to the change in gene frequency as yes, the correct answer for this question is genetic drift. Question number 7, the wing of the bat and the forelimb of the cheetah are said to be homologous structures. This indicates that they have the same function. Bats evolved from a lineage of cheetah. They are structures which are similar due to common ancestry. The limb bones of each are anatomically identical. Yet yeah, the homologous organs means organs with similar in structure and origin, but different in function and homologous organs explains the common ancestry, hence the correct answer for this question is, that is option C, that is they are structures which are similar due to common ancestry. Question number 8, animal husbandry and plant breeding programs or examples of reverse evolution, artificial selection, mutation, natural selection. Now, the development of the new hybrid varieties of animals through animal husbandry and obtaining new plant varieties through several breeding programs, they are all artificial 
uh, techniques carried out by the human beings hence the animal husbandry and plant breeding programs are the best examples of there is artificial selection question number 9 bird wings and insect wings are considered to be homologous organs homogeneous structures vestigial structures homoplastic structures you know the wing of bird and wing of insect they perform same function but different in structure and origin hence it is an example for analogous organs the analogous organs are also called homoplastic organs hence the correct answer for this question is option d it is homoplastic structures question number 10 pick the add one out that means which uh, not belongs to that group four limb of vertebrates hearts of vertebrates flippers of penguins and dolphins thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita see among four options four limb of vertebrates hearts of vertebrates thorns in bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita they are all homologous organs but flippers of penguin and dolphins are the example for analogous organs is option c is add one the correct answer for this question is option c question number 11 replacement of the white winged peppered moth that is biston beetle area by dark winged moth biston carbon area in the industrial areas of england is the example of stabilizing selection directional selection disruptive selection artificial selection a yes, stabilizing selection means the individuals having the mean value character that is due to stable conditions of the environment and uh, it shows that means the individuals is more mean value characters maximum mean value character here this side is the less mean value characters and it is a stable characters and as the graph shows this right line but your directional selection it is due to the variations in the environmental conditions because of that the change in that the mean value characters is the graph shifted towards the right side hence and disruptive selection it is mainly due to adaptive radiations because of a new species were evolved that leads to the splitting of the single group of population to several a uh, sub species yet the replacement of white winged pepper moth by dark winged pepper moth it is mainly because of the changes in that environment condition and that is example for the directional selection is yes, the correct option for this question is option p question number 12 random evolutionary changes in a small population purely by chance is known as option a gene flow option b genetic drift option c disruptive selection option d natural selection here yeah, the change in gene frequency purely by chance is called genetic drift it leads to alteration in the gene frequency that results in the formation of new individuals and it is one of the factor which affects the alde weinberg principle and the correct answer for this question is that is genetic drift question number 13 
question number 13 among the human ancestors the brain size was more than 1000 cc in neanderthal man homo erectus ramapticus homo habilis dryapticus while discussing the synapsis part i told the brain capacity of the neanderthal man is 1400 cc homo erectus around 900 cc yes and uh, even ramapticus homo habilis and ramapticus even less than 1000 yes the correct answer for this question is neanderthal because the brain capacity of neanderthal man is 1400 cc for remaining options the brain capacity is less than 1000 cc question number 14 which of the following fossil man possessed a cranial capacity almost equal to that of modern man neanderthal man java ape man peking man australopithecian Africans. Here modern man means homo sapiens. The cranial capacity of homo sapiens is around 1500 cc and the cranial capacity of Neanderthal man is 1400 cc. Hence, the fossil man Neanderthal possesses the cranial capacity almost equal to the modern Homo sapiens is the correct answer for this question is Neanderthal man. Question number 15, transformation of the early reducing atmosphere of the earth into an oxidizing atmosphere was primarily due to the activity of options are anaerobic chemoeterotropes, anaerobic phototropes, anaerobic heterotropes, aerobic phototropes. See the earlier atmosphere was reducing due to the lack of molecular oxygen, but the present day atmosphere is oxidizing due to the presence of the molecular oxygen that is mainly because of the aerobic phototropes which release oxygen during photosynthesis hence the aerobic phototropes is the correct answer for this question. Question number 16, analogous organs in populations of different species inhabiting a common habitat show biogeography, divergent evolution, convergent evolution, homologous evolution. Here analogous organs explains the convergent evolution that is different organs are evolved to perform a common function is the analogous organs of population of different species inhabiting a, a common habitat show mainly the convergent evolution is option C is the correct answer. Question number 17, the primitive The, the, the primate which existed 15 million years ago was Homo habilis, Australopithecus, Ramapithecus, Homo erectus. Till the 15 million years ago, the first primate was the 
Ramapticus and Dryapticus, but in the given options only Ramapticus is there is the primitive the primate which was existent 15 million years ago was Ramapticus. Question number 18, the correct sequence of human evolution is Dryapticus, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, Cro-Magnon man, Neanderthal man, Homo sapiens. Here the first uh, evolved human was again Dryapticus nearly 15 million years ago. It is followed by Homo habilis. Next to that Homo habilis, Homo erectus. Then Crow Magnon man, Neanderthal man, Homo sapiens. Question number 18. The correct sequence of human evolution is options Dryapticus, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, Crow Magnon man, Neanderthal man and Homo sapiens. The first evolved human was about 15 million, million years ago that is Dryapticus followed by Homo habilis. Next to the Homo habilis, Homo erectus. Next to but Homo erectus, Neanderthal, question number 18, the correct sequence of human evolution is, options are Dryapticus, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, Cro-Magnon man, Neanderthal man, Homo sapiens. The first evolved human was Dryapticus followed by Homo habilis, next to the Homo habilis, Homo erectus, next to the Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, next to the Neanderthal, cro magnon man and finally, the modern man Homo sapiens. Is the correct answer for this question is option C. Question number 19, the frequency of allele A in a population is 0.4 what would be the frequency of allele small e? Options are 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0.8. See to find out the frequency of allele small a that is recessive gene, we use the formula p plus Q equals 1. Here in the question they given that the frequency of dominant gene is 0.4, then we have to find out the frequency of the recessive gene small a. Here P plus Q equals 1. Then here we know that P is 0.4 plus 
q equals 1 that is q equals 1 minus 0.4 that gives 6 and the frequency of the recessive gene is 0.6 is option C is the correct answer. Question number 20, the allele frequency of A and small a in a population or 0.7 and 0.3 respectively. The expected frequency of heterozygous individual is 12 percent, 50 percent, 24 percent, 42 percent. See to calculate the frequency of heterozygous individual, we use the formula p square plus 2 p q plus q square equals 1. Your p, p square equals is the frequency of homozygous dominant individuals, q, q square is the frequency of homozygous recessive individual and 2 p q is the frequency of dominant heterozygous individual. Here the frequency of the dominant allele that is A is given that is 0.7, frequency of the recessive individual that is small a is 0.3, then we have to find out the frequency of dominant heterozygous individual. Therefore, here 2 p q equals 2 into 0.7 into then 0.3 that gives 0.42. If you multiply 0.42 by 100, you will get 42 percent. If you check this answer, you will get 100 or that is 1, uh, that is 0.49 into 0.42 plus 0.09 if you add all these things, you will get so 100 that is constant 1. Yes, the correct answer for this question is the 42 percent, option D. Dear students, dear students, we move on to the next topic that is human health and disease. Now, health is defined as a state of complete physical, social and mental well-being. A disease means when one or more body parts or organs or systems get affected, it leads to expression of several symptoms is called disease. The common human diseases are broadly classified into infectious non-infectious diseases, some diseases are caused due to allergy and some other diseases are due to autoimmunity. Infectious diseases, they easily spread from infected person to healthy persons. They are caused by disease causing agents called pathogens. The common pathogens or viruses, bacteria, helminthes, protozoa, fungi. The common disease caused by virus is common cold. 
hepatitis, then acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, the, the disease caused by bacteria or typhoid, pneumonia, tuberculosis, the disease caused by helminthes or filariasis, oscariasis, then the disease, disease caused by protozoa or malaria, amoebiosis and the, the fungi disease includes that ringworm. The non-infectious disease are mainly due to defect in the genes or chromosome that is the genetics, stress due to the lifestyle and cancer a causing agents called carcinogens. Allergic disorders is caused by the allergic agents to which the body response the uh, exaggerated response to such allergic agents. Then autoimmunity is due to the immune system of the body is fight against our own body cells or the secretions of the body. The con important control measures includes clean food and water, personal hygiene, balanced diet and the vaccination. The disease can also be controlled mainly by controlling the stress, by practicing the physical exercise, etcetera. Coming to the immune system, the immunity means the resistant ability of the body against the diseases. There are two types of immunity that is innate and acquired. Innate immunity is also called non-specific immunity and acquired immunity is also called specific immunity. Innate immunity is present in the body by birth. It includes physical barriers such as skin, physiological barriers includes biochemical secretions such as the tears, the mucus, etc. Then cellular barriers includes the macrophages, then polymorphonuclear lymphocytes. Then cytokine barriers includes the interferons, a antiviral protein secreted by virus infected cell. Acquired immunity is acquired during lifetime. It is mainly due to lymphocytes. There are two types of lymphocytes or involved in acquired immunity that is T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. T lymphocytes are involved in cell mediated immunity whereas B lymphocytes are involved in humoral immunity. Yeah, the T lymphocytes are going to produce a specific type of the T cells which fight against the disease causing agents and infected cells, whereas the, in humoral immunity a specific type of antibodies are formed which are going to destroy the antigens. Here the immunity is, is also of two types that is active and passive immunity. Active immunity is the immunity provided by the antibodies produced in the body of a person, whereas passive immunity is the immunity provided by the borrowed antibodies or by vaccination. Coming to the lymphoid organs, 
the impoint lymphoid organs which are involved in immune system are broadly classified into primary lymphoid organs and secondary lymphoid organs. The primary lymphoid organs are the organs at which the lymphocytes are the form and maturation takes place. The example for the primary lymphoid organs are bone marrow and thymus. Bone marrow is the site at which the lymphocytes are formed and also B lymphocytes get differentiated. Whereas, the T lymphocytes is the site at which the T lymphocytes get differentiated. Secondary lymphoid organs are the organs at which the lymphocytes get interact with the, the antigens or infected cells. The example for secondary lymphoid organs are spleen, lymph nodes and mucosa associated lymphoid tissue are the example for the secondary lymphoid organs. Coming to the drugs and alcohol abuse, the important abusing drugs or opioids, cannabinoids, coca, alkaloids. Opioids are obtained from a plant called pepper somniferum. The example for opioids are opium, morphine, heroin. Cannabinoids obtained from cannabis sativa commonly called Indian hemp. The example for cannabinoids are charas, morgiana, hashish, ganja. Coca alkaloids are obtained from erythroxylum coca, also called the coca alkaloids are also called coke or crack. And there are some abusing drugs which creates that hallucination effect like that. LST, lysergic acid, diethylamide, it creates hallucination effect. Coming to the questions related to this topic, question number 1. The term health is defined in many ways, but the most accurate definition of the health would be, health is the state of body and mind in a balanced condition. Health is the reflection of smiling face. Health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Health is the symbol of economic prosperity. Among four options, the correct definition for health is Health is a complete physical, mental, social well being, and the correct answer for this question is so option C. Question number 2 One of the following is not the causative organism for ringworm. As you know, that uh, ringworm disease is caused by fungi and uh, the options for this question is microsporum, trichopyton, epidermopyton and macrosporum. Here the microsporum, trichopyton, epidermopyton, all these are the fungi which are responsible for causing the disease ringworm. But macrosporum, it is a, a one kind of a tuber, tuffel, it is not a fungi is the correct answer for this question is that macrosporum that means not a, a causative organism. Question number 3, common cold is not cured by antibiotics because it is caused by a virus, caused by a gram-positive bacterium, 
caused by gram negative bacterium, not an infectious disease. Actually, so, common cold is a caused by a virus that is a rhinovirus. As you know that the uh, you know, the viruses or cannot be destroyed by antibiotics, since the common cold is caused by a rhinovirus, hence it cannot be cured by using antibiotics. Hence, the correct answer for this question is option A, is because it is caused by a virus. Question number four: Hemozoin is a precursor of hemoglobin, a toxin from Streptococcus, a toxin from Plasmodium species, a toxin from Haemophilus species. See in the life cycle of Plasmodium, when the Plasmodium infects the infects to RBC, after the asexual reproduction in RBC, the RBCs are going to rupture. At the same time, the ruptured RBCs are going to release one toxic a substance called hemozoin which is responsible for the chillness and fever. Hence, it is a, a toxin released by the infected the RBC cell that is mainly because of the infection of plasmodium species uh, uh, in persons suffering from malaria is the correct answer for the, this question is option C, it is a toxin from Plasmodium species. Question number 5, the sites on antigen to which an antibody binds is termed as epitope, atope, paratope, isotope. You know, a site of antigen through which it binds with antibody is called epitope. But a region of antibody to which a specific antigen binds, this particular region is called paratope. That means paratope is a part of antibody to which antigen binds. Then epitope is a, a part of antigen through which it combines with antibody. Hence, uh, the site on antigen to which an antibody binds is termed as epitope. Hence, the correct answer for this question is option A. Question number 6. Metastasis is associated with benign tumor, malignant tumor, crown gall tumor, both malignant and benign tumors. You know metastasis means the spreading of cancerous cells from one body part to the another. It is a characteristic of the malignant tumor. Yes, the correct answer for this question is option B. But the cancerous cells of benign tumor confined to the site of origin. You know, crown gall is commonly called plant cancer and uh, is found in that uh, the plants. Hence, yes, the correct answer for this question is uh, so malignant tumor. When body cannot differentiate its own and foreign matter, it is passive immunity, active immunity, autoimmunity, immunodeficiency. And body cannot differentiate our own body cells and foreign matter and the immune system of our body fight against our own body cells that results in a autoimmune disorders. Yes, the correct answer for this question is autoimmunity. The example for autoimmune disorders are rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis and Graves disease. Yes, the correct answer for this question is option C. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इफ ए पर्सन शोस प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंटरफेर इन इज बॉडी चांसेस आर दट ई इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम मलेरिया मीजल्स टेटानस रिंग वर्म से एज आई टोल्ड इंटरफेर इज ए एंटी वायरल प्रोटीन सेक्रेटेड बाई वायरस इन्फेक्टेड सेल which gives protection to neighboring healthy cells among the four options the disease caused by virus is measles this paro mixo virus is going to cause at measles and the infected cells are going to produce that interferon hence it is a viral infection yes the correct op option for this question is option b question number 9 hashish morgiana and lst or toxins stimulants hallucinogens and all these the hashish morgiana lst or the abusing drugs the excessive intake of such drugs results in the hallucination effect yes are commonly called hallucinogens and the correct answer for this question is option c drugs which induce dreamy state of consciousness are called sedatives barbiturates stimulants hallucinogens here the dreamy state of consciousness is mainly induced by the abusing drugs like the lysergic acid diethylamide and other hallucinogens such a dreamy state of conscious consciousness is also called so uh, is also called so hallucinogens yes the correct answer for this question is option d allergy caused by a pollen grain of certain flowers causing inflammation of the nose is called pharyngitis laryngitis rhinitis bronchitis here pharyngitis means inflammation of the pharynx laryngitis means inflammation of the larynx rhinitis means inflammation of the upper part of the respiratory system that is nose bronchitis that is inflammation of the bronchi is yes, the inflammation of the nose is called rhinitis is yes, the correct answer for this question is option c question number 12 use of anti histamines and steroids give a quick relief from headache allergy nausea cough you know the secretion of the histamines is mainly because of the allergic reactions and when more and more amount of histamines are secreted to get quick relief from the excessive secretion of histamines normally anti histamines are commonly given and and the steroids are also given mainly to give quick relief to allergic reactions anti histamines and steroids are commonly given is the correct answer for this question is allergy that is option b question number 13 immunoglobin produced by the body during allergy is igg igm iga ige igg antibodies or usually transported from mother to fetus through placenta which gives passive immunity iga antibodies are usually found in 
early secret milk called colostrum and IgE antibodies are more secreted during allergic conditions. In, so, the elevated level of the IgE results in that allergy and the correct answer for this question is option T. Question number 14, Charas or hashish is obtained from leaves of cannabis sativa, resinous secretion of flowering tops of female cannabis, dried leaves of female cannabis, resinous secretion from bark of male plant of cannabis. Now, the charas or ashish are also abusing drugs which are commonly obtained from a plant called cannabis sativa and they are usually obtained from a resinous secretion of flowering tops of a female cannabis. Yes, the correct answer for this question is option B. Question number 15. Which amongst the following diseases are caused by bacteria? Typhoid, elephantiasis, cholera, tuberculosis. As you know that typhoid is caused by a bacterium called Salmonella typhi. Elephantiasis is caused by a filarial worm called Vicharia bancrofti. Cholera is caused by a bacterium called Vibrio cholerae and tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculi. Hence, among these options, the typhoid, cholera and tuberculosis are caused by a bacteria, but Elephantasis is caused by a filarial worm that is helminthes disease and the correct answer for this question is option C that is typhoid, cholera and tuberculosis. Question number 16, where will you look for the sporozoids of the malarial parasite? Salivary glands of freshly mounted female Anapris mosquito. Option B, salivary glands of infected female Anapolis mosquitoes. Red blood corpuscles of humans suffering from malaria. Spleen of infected humans. You know, sporozoites are the infecting stage of mal malarial parasite to human. Usually, they are stored in the salivary gland of infected female Anopolis mosquito. Yes, the correct answer for this question is salivary glands of infected female Anopolis mosquito. Where will you, oh, sorry, question number 17. Identify the given skeletal structure of a molecule. Here the, the molecular structure is given and we have to identify the molecular structure of which abusing drug. Options are morphine, cannabinoid, cocaine, heroin. But here the given skeletal structure of, of a molecule is cannabinoid drug. Yes, the correct option is option B. Question number 18. Vidal test is the diagnostic tool for typhoid, tetanus, trichomoniasis, tuberculosis. Usually, the Vidal test is the diagnostic diagnosing test use it to find out 
the infection of the typhoid is the correct answer for this question is a typhoid. Dear students, we pass on to the next chapter that is microbes in human welfare. In the previous chapter, we discussed that microbes are harmful to human being, which are responsible for causing several diseases. At the same time, the microbes are beneficial to the mankind also and we are obtaining several useful products with the help of the microorganisms. Microbes play an important role in obtaining several household products. For example, lactic acid bacteria converts milk into curd by fermentation and after obtaining curd, it is possible to obtain other milk products. Similarly, another microbe called Baker's yeast, it is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Uh, it is commonly used in bakeries and also production of alcoholic beverages. The puffed nature of the bread in bakeries is mainly because of the production of carbon dioxide that is by the activity of Saccharomyces cerevisiae. The traditional drink toddy is prepared by fermenting form again by using the microbes. Similarly, the cheese that is the Swiss cheese contains that large holes. It is mainly because of one of the bacterium called Propinobacterium cherimony. Similarly, the increase in the taste and aroma of the rope fat cheese is mainly by the fungi. In addition to that, the duff is also obtained with the help of the microorganisms. Yeast is commonly used in fermented beverages because it bring about the fermentation of the malted cereal and fruit juice to produce ethanol. The alcoholic beverages like whiskey, brandy, rum are obtained by distillation process and the wine and beer are obtained without distillation. The microbes also play an important role in obtaining various organic acids, enzymes, bioactive molecules. The Aspergillus tiger is going to produce that citric acid, then acetic acid is obtained from acetobacter acidi, butyric acid is obtained from clostridium vitalicum and lactic acid is obtained from lactobacillus. Similarly, the enzymes produced by microbes such as lipases used as detergent to remove oily stain, streptokinase obtained from streptococcus bacterium used as a clot buster. Similarly, the pectinase and proteases are used to clarify the bottle juice. The important bioactive molecules obtained from microorganisms are 
cyclosporin A. It is obtained from trichoderma polysporum and the cyclosporin A is used as immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant. The another bioactive molecule called statin obtained by monoscus purpureus and statins are used to lower the blood cholesterol agent. The microbes are also helpful in obtaining the antibiotics. One of the most uh, the common antibiotic is penicillin. It is obtained from penicillium notatum, which is used to kill the other microbes. Microbes also play an important role in controlling the pests and diseases. Bacillus thuringiensis, that is Bt, it is going to produce a toxic protein, hence it is used to kill the ball worms which are going to infect the cotton plants. The trichoderma, a fungi, kills a several root pathogens and a baculovirus belongs to genus nucleo polyhedrovirus. It kills several insect pests and also other arthropods. Similarly, ladybird beetles kills the caterpillars and use it to get rid of aphids and mosquitoes. Coming to the importance of microbes in biogas production, one of the most common microbe used in the bio production of biogas is a methanogen bacteria, a kind of archaea bacteria. It acts on cellular material to produce methane. It is seen in aerobic sludge diesters, rumen of cattle, flooded rice field and also in the cattle dung. Importance of microbes as biofertilizers, cyanobacteria, blue green algae such as anabina, nostoc, oscillatoria, enriches organic pattern of soil by fixing atmospheric nitrogen. Similarly, the symbiotic bacteria such as rhizobium present in the root nodules of leguminous plants fixes the atmospheric nitrogen, increases the fertility of the soil. The other free living bacteria such as azospirulum, azotobacter also fix the atmosphere nitrogen helps in enrichment of the soil. Similarly, the fungi, one of the fungi belongs to the glomus that is a mycorrhiza, the most common mycorrhiza is glomus species. It is associated with the roots of higher plants. It helps in the absorption of phosphorus content from the soil and also gives resistance to root from root borne diseases. Coming to the questions related to this topic, question number 1. The inoculum is added to the fresh milk in order to convert milk into curd. The term inoculum here refers to option A, a starter rich in 
vitamin B12, a starter rich in proteins, a starter containing millions of lactic acid bacteria and aerobic digester. Here the small amount of the inoculum is commonly added to milk to convert the milk into curd and it acts as starter and it contains a millions of lactic acid bacteria which bring about the fermentation of the milk into curd. Hence, the inoculum refers to a starter containing millions of lactic acid bacteria is the correct option for this question is option C. Question number 2, which of the following is mismatch pair with respect to the organism and the acid produced by it? Here in one column they given that the organisms, in another column they given the acids produced by the organism, but one of the the acid is mismatched. Clusteridium butalicum, they given the gluconic acid, lactobacillus acidophilus lactic acid, aspergillus niger citric acid, acidobacter acetic acetic acid. See among these options, I told while discussing the synapsis part, clusteridium butalicum is produced butyric acid but not gluconic acid, hence the gluconic acid is, is a mismatch. Here the correct answer for this question is option A. Question number 3, vigorous growth of microbes in sewage treatment plants significantly reduce BOD that is biochemical oxygen demand, increased BOD, no effect on BOD, decreased in beginning but reduced on later. As you know, your biochemical oxygen demand means the amount of oxygen required to decompose the organic matter present in 1 liter of sewage. When more and more amount of microbes are present in any sewage water, it is going to decompose the organic matter, hence the biochemical oxygen demand uh, decreases. Hence, the correct answer for this question is the reduced BOD that is mainly because of vigorous growth of the microorganisms, hence option A is the correct answer. <coughs> question number 4, the fungus which is used as biocontrol agent is trichoderma, aspergillus, penicillium, rhizopus. See among the four options here aspergillus, penicillium, rhizopus, uh, they are not commonly I use as biocontrol agent, but among these the most common fungus used to kill that the insect pest is the trichoderma, it is correct option is option A. Question number 5, nucleo polyhydrovirus is used as biocontrol agent agonist insect, bacteria, fungi, all of these. I told while discussing the synapsis part, nucleopolyhydrovirus is commonly used to kill the several insect pests and also the arthropodans is the correct answer for this question is option A that is insects. Question number 6 yeast is used in the production of bread and beer, cheese and butter, citric acid and lactic acid, lipases and pectinases. Now, the yeast is commonly used in bakeries 
for the preparation of the bread. I told the puffed nature of bread is mainly because of the production of carbon dioxide by the fermentation activity of the yeast. Similarly, in alcoholic beverages, the beer is prepared by the fermentation activity of the yeast is the correct answer for this question is option A. <coughs> Monascus purpureus is a yeast used commercially in the production of citric acid, blood cholesterol lowering agent, ethanol, streptokinase for removing clots from the blood vessels. You know that citric acid, it is an organic uh, acid obtained from Aspergillus niger. Blood cholesterol lowering agent is a statin obtained from Monascus purpuris. Ethanol is produced with the help of the Saccharomyces cerevisiae and streptokinase is obtained from streptococcus bacteria in the monascus purpuriasis is going to produce the statin which is used as blood cholesterol lowering agent hence the correct answer for this question is option P. Question number 8. Measuring biochemical oxygen demand is a method used for measuring the activity of Saccharomyces cerevisiae in producing curd on a commercial scale, working out the efficiency of RBCs about their capacity to carry oxygen, estimating the amount of organic matter in sewage water, working out the efficiency of oil driven automobile engines. I told that biochemical oxygen demand is the amount of oxygen required to decompose the organic matter present in 1 liter of sewage. When the water is more polluted, there is a more BOD. When the water is less polluted, less BOD. Yes, the biochemical oxygen demand is, is the estimating the amount of organic matter in sewage water is the correct answer for this question is option C. Large holes in Swiss cheese are due to a machine, a bacterium that produces methane gas, a bacterium producing large amount of carbon dioxide, a fungus that release a lot of gases during its metabolic activities. I told that uh, the large holes in Swiss cheese uh, is mainly because of one of the bacterium called Propinobacterium sherimani. Uh, it is going to produce that more, more amount of carbon dioxide by fermentation activity because uh, at the time of evaporation of carbon dioxide from the cheese, the large holes are formed. Hence, the correct answer for this question is option C. Question number 10, which one of the following microbes shows symbiotic association with roots of higher plants? Glomus, Trichoderma, Azetobacter, Aspergillus. You know, Glomus, a kind of mycorrhiza which is associated with the roots of higher plants helps in absorption of phosphorus and also gives protection to the root from root borne diseases. Then trichoderma commonly used in a, a biological pest control, azotobacter, azo, then aspergillus, they are free nitrogen fixing bacteria and the correct answer for this question is option A that is globus. Question number 11, methanogens do not produce oxygen, methane, hydrogen sulphide, carbon dioxide. 
you know, methanogen bacteria is used in the production of biogas. Biogas is the mixture of the methane, hydrogen sulphide and carbon dioxide, but it does not contain oxygen. Hence, methane do not produce oxygen and the correct answer for this question is option A. Question number 12, when natural predators are employed in agricultural practices for controlling plant pests and their diseases is called microbial control, biological control, disease control, pest control. That means the diseases are controlled by using other living beings or other predators, the controlling of diseases by using other the living agents is called biological control. Yes, the biological option B is the correct answer for this question. Question number 13, organic farming does not include green manures, chemical fertilizers, farm herd manure, compost. See, in organic farming, the chemical fertilizers are not going to use, mainly by using that uh, the organic matter obtained from the plants, such as the green manure, farm haired manure, compost are commonly used, hence the chemical fertilizers are not going to use, is the correct answer for this question is option B. Question number 14, bottled fruit juices are clarified by the use of pectinases and lipases, pectinases and proteases, proteases and cellulase, cellulase and amylases. See, in, in bottle juice is cleared mainly because of some enzymes are added which are going to feed on the protein content and also the pectin content present in the juice. The most common enzymes used to clarify the bottle juice are pectinases and proteases. Yes, the correct answer for this question is option B. Question number 15. Following are the sources of biofertilizers except bacteria, Cyanobacteria, archaea bacteria, fungi. You know, among these options, the bacteria also helps in enrichment of soil. Cyanobacteria like the nostoc and anabena also helps in fixing the atmosphere nitrogen and the fungi mycorrhiza also helps in the absorption of phosphorus, but archaea bacteria it is uh, used for the production of biogas, but not uh, as a source of biofertilizers is yes, the correct answer for this question is option C or KA bacteria. Question number 16, antibiotics are used against deadly diseases caused by bacteria. Which one of the following disease cannot be cured by antibiotics? Option A, plague, B, whooping cough, C, diphtheria, D, leprosy, E, filariasis. Now, the first four options caused by bacteria and also they are all deadly disease and uh, usually the antibiotics are used to cure these diseases, but the filariasis is a elementous disease caused by you know, which area, bankruptcy or filarial worm, hence the antibiotics are not uh, used uh, against the filariasis. And the correct answer for this question is option E, that is filariasis. Question number 17, identify 
the mismatched pair statins yeast cyclosporin a fungus streptokinase bacterium rockefeller cheese a fungus mycorrhiza a bacterium you know statins are obtained from the yeast called yeast yeast only that is correct correctly matched cyclosporin a is obtained from a fungus only Streptokinase again obtained from bacteria. Rockefeller cheese is ripened and also increases aroma by the fungus, but mycorrhiza is the bio control agent, it is a fungi, but not bacterium. Hence, this, this one is not correctly matched. Hence, the correct answer for this question is so option E. Dear students, uh, with this I am going to conclude this class. I wish you all the best for your examinations and I would like to thank the organizers for giving this opportunity. Thank you once again.